Hello, my name is Leo. Welcome back. Last time we were getting up to the top of this elevator. And we're exploring this interesting world that must be long way down. Wait, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? I'm not even sure. Well, let's see what happens. That is not what I should have done. Clearly, I have made a mistake there. Whoops! <laughs> Science innovated. So now, so the logo obviously is. Well, this is the old aperture. Looks all Bioshocky. Right, where am I supposed to go? Or should I go over there? No. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is it's working. But I don't want to have gasoline blood. No. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, cold? so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us because that's not supposed to happen. No. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case scenario, which we'll cut out. Oh, well, at least, at least you're cutting them out, I guess. I really do like these little banter things, banter sessions with, um, with Kay Johnson. He's, he's probably my favorite portal character. Yeah, yeah, he is, totally. There is Wheatley, but yeah, Wheatley's, uh, yeah, Cave's the man. After all, he's the one that we have to thank for, you know, this entire facility. So, Pump Station Alpha, the blue stuff. Know your hazardous materials. Do not inhale fumes, no matter how good they smell. That's, you know what that is? That's good life lesson for pretty much anything. No matter what walk of life, no matter what you do, no matter what you're trying to do, just, no matter how good it smells, don't inhale the fumes. Words to live by. Uh, okay, so... I guess you want me to go here? Yeah? And then, there's a door. And then, this is obvious. We're in the right area. I gotta say, I don't actually know what I'm doing. Oh, we're gonna go up here. Uh-huh! Got it. Alright, uh, what was that say? Safety first. Together, we can make 1956 the lowest unexpected casualty annuum ever. Excellent. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Well, that's good, because I don't like hand-holding. Especially between men. If I'm the man. You know what I mean. Lots of time. Whoa! Bright lights! This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. 
You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Alright. Repulsion gel, eh? That sounds interesting. Remember! Um, this test is unsolvable without the Aperture Science Portal Quantum Teleting device. Look at the size of that thing! Man, I'm so glad they perfected that technology. That thing's huge. If you have not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any enrichment activities. Okay. 1953. Wow, this is an old test. Repulsion gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a diet pudding substitute. It's true. The gel is a sweetener, slightly less non-toxic. <laughs> what? <laughs> the gel is a sweetener, slightly, <laughs> slightly less, only slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out his or her mouth. For various reasons, this product was pulled from the shelves. Who would have thought? That couldn't possibly have gone bad. Whee! That's pretty fun. school box. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. You know what, Cave? You can. Wait, there's a... There's no... No words here. Oh, that's close. All right. So I guess we're gonna. For this next this test, way. we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are gonna travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, Not okay. yet. if you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and worked wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Yay, well I'm glad you thought of everything. Alright, so I guess I wanna go around this. Waiting for the movable platform to come along. Alright, well, when we come back. We will continue doing uh, missions for the good old, the good Cave Johnson and such. But for now, my name is Leo and I'll see you next time.